My name is Brian Prell. I'm a physical therapist and I provide balance and vestibular testing. Today we're here to demonstrate the wireless video frenzel system. As you can see, I've started the system, including the room camera, and then we have the goggles themselves. The interesting feature about the goggles is you can determine which eye you want to test based on whether the patient has a dysfunction in one eye versus another. For example, say we want to test the right eye. We can put the camera in the right eye. If there's a dysfunction on the right eye and we need to make a change and we need to test the left eye, we can remove the occluder. We turn the camera upside down, switch the camera to the opposite side and replace the occluder. We're gonna hand the goggles to the patient and allow them to put them on. Then we're gonna adjust accordingly, making sure that we've got the best position to acquire data. And now with testing. Studies have shown that with BPPV, 98% of cases are involving the posterior canal of the inner ear. In order to test the posterior canal, we're gonna do the Dix Hall Pike test. And we're gonna demonstrate that using the wireless video frenzel goggles. Uh, to do that, um, I'm first gonna come over and we're gonna press record. To position the patient for the Dix Hall Pike maneuver, you're gonna first instruct them to cross their arms across their chest. You're gonna give them as much support as possible. So you support them from the back and from the front. You're gonna turn their head 45 degrees towards you with 20 degrees of extension. On the count of three, I'm gonna lie you back. One, two, three, and you lie them back. You're gonna hold this position for at least 30 seconds. The reason I say 30 seconds is because with BPPV, it's been shown that there's an onset latency of between five and 20 seconds. And if you take the patient out of the position too soon, you may not capture the nystagmus. And we'll return to sitting. Good. Now we're gonna demonstrate the roll test for horizontal canal involvement. Studies have shown that in BPPV, the horizontal canal is involved approximately 1.5% of the time. In order to demonstrate the roll test, what you're gonna do is position the patient in a supine position with the head at approximately a 30 degree pitch. You'll turn the head to the tested side and you're gonna be looking for a horizontal nystagmus. That nystagmus will either be horizontal down or horizontal up. Horizontal down is called a geotropic nystagmus. Geotropic nystagmus represents a potential canalothiasis, whereas an upward nystagmus is referred to as apogeotropic, which can represent cupulolithiasis. You return to neutral. Again, remaining in a 30 degree pitch, you rotate to test the opposite side. And that's how easy it is to perform testing using the wireless video frenzel system. Next, we're gonna show you how you can monitor your patient using the system during treatment.